This is a 100 Hot Wheels uh, carrying case, storage case, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is made in the USA. They run about 20 bucks, 15 to 20 depending on where you go. Has wheels, has a retractable handle. So it's kind of like a travel suitcase. The latch is just, you know, you just lift up on it. And it's got two compartments. This side stays latched. Now, the pros and cons of this. If you are a parent that just wants all your kids' Hot Wheels cars and Matchbox cars in one spot so you're not stepping on them, tripping over them, this is a good case. Um, it's tough to go wrong for, you know, under 20 bucks. Now, if you're a collector, this is a horrible case. And I'll show you why. I just put a bunch of random cars in here just so you get an idea. All the slots are, they have, they're huge. Now, if they would have made it this size and sealed, but it's open there. So there's just these like little tabs. So even if you put your cars in there, just by moving the case, they turn sideways. They, like these are all jumbled upon each other. And I wasn't you know, rough with it at all to make them jostle around like that. The big pockets, I don't know if these are supposed to be more for like Monster Jam or stuff like that, but obviously you can't just put two cars in there like that because they're just banged together. Some of your kind of odd shaped ones like this, you know, they do fit in certain compartments. There's these weird little compartments up here that are kind of I don't even want to know what shape they are. They're kind of follow the curve of the, the case. So a lot of useless things if you're a collector. Now, again, if you just have a kid that has a bunch of Hot Wheels, don't care the shape of them, it's good. This side has a little tab here. You just kind of unsnap it. This side, on the other hand, is a lot better for half of it these spots here are a solid compartment so if you put a car in there i mean they'll still slide around up and down but they're not banging into each other there's this weird like half moon that's worthless unless you're gonna wedge two cars in there again these two here i just happened to find this farm truck that kind of fit the bill for that. Same with this little weird one here. A little bus happened to fit in there. So this side is pretty functional. The other side is just ridiculous. So more slots like this would have been nice because they do keep cars kind of straight, I would say. But the rest of them are just a jumbled mess. So, serious collectors or even hobbyists, not you don't even have to be like a serious collector of like red lines and all your expensive ones. If you're just a, kind of like a hobbyist like I am, you know, I collect everything from, you know, this one's from the 80s, all beat up. To, you know the more modern ones I do have some red lines in here and that too but I I still wouldn't use this case even though a lot of the cars I get you know are well played with I don't want them to get any more scuffed up or beat up so more compartments like the other side where they're individual is kind of what I use but again if you're a parent, you just want all your kids' Hot Wheels in one, one spot off the floor, this is a good case.